Hi Jag, it's a good song. I wonder what the music for Arden is going to be, if it's going to share a lot of the same music and music styles as the main game, or is it going to have like a completely new composer like each of the other three DLCs? At least that's what it seemed like to me. It's, it's like sympathetic music. It's so sympathetic to him. And here he is, Arden, sleeping kind of sort of in the throne chair. I'm about to be blasted with truth bombs. Oh, I'll just take a deep breath. I mean, it seems like he was supposed to be the one to have his bloodline be the line, but like, shit happened. And this is what we get to find out about it. What a pitience! They started sneaking hints in the Ignis alternate story. They snuck more than just hints. Especially when Arden was like, I am Lucius Callum, the Founder King? Mmm, shoulda, woulda, coulda, supposed to have been. It would have been, I feel like, that piece of information probably would have made the protagonist-antagonist storylines much less nebulous, but I didn't write the story. Alright. Uh, no more cam. So this is what going to take a, a while, like two million years ago. Having turned to the Empire to shamb shambles and sh the shroud of the world in darkness, Arden, erstwhile healer of those who aided, now sits atop the illusion throne denied by him by the crystal some two millennia ago. So he was the Oracle, basically. So the Oracle and the King were one and the same. Oh. Somnus. Modern Era 766. Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods, and revered by the people as their savior. Who's talking? His name was Arden Lucis Kylum. And he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. Was to have served. Uh, we're, we got a VHS now? Fucking rewinding like this is Hamilton. Tension between the two countries remains high, with neither nation showing signs of backing down. In other news, a member of the Border Patrol before dawn this morning. This is 30 years ago, if I read it correctly? Has been identified as 28-year-old Mars Sapientia. Although Officer Sapientia... I only started reading the, the text because it was kind of muted. officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been sighted since. Officer Sapientia is a tall, fair-skinned male and was last seen wearing his Border Patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapientia's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police Oh my god, he's sneaking into the city. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks Listen to the this music. of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucis. The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in honor of this auspicious occasion, including a parade around the Citadel as well as a statue of the Founder King himself. All are welcome it's parade and style. to participate in today's festivities. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, onto the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City... My buddy? Oh, no. I'm the buddy. I'm on special the assignment. The may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. That concludes today's news and weather. <sighs> Founders Day Festival. That's the car I, I exited from? 
Bro, why is this camera so jittery? Festive Somnus? It's it's strange. <sighs> but Unsweet that's music for you. Just change some chords, and suddenly it's festive. Return of the Savior. Explore the Crown Sea. Okay, this is cool. I get to see Insomnia before shit happens to it, which is definitely new. So this is the city Somnus built. Somnus is his brother. On the back of his own flesh and blood. Just look at them, free of care and unaware of the war beyond their wall. Look at all this diversity. No diversity. I really can't walk between. I'm blocking that child. <laughs> what need is there to worry when brick and mortar blinds them to the suffering outside? Why venture out into the world when you feel so safe within? All these people it's tanking my frame rate. <laughs> What a life to live. I like tanking it, but it's it's dropping it down. Is this the Founder this King? Is the statue of the Founder King? I see the sculptor took quite a few liberties. Like my brother doesn't look like that. All Arden wants to do is just get revenge. And that must be the king's castle. Whoa, whoa! I don't need to listen on their so conversation. Think, son, not every day you get to see the king's personal bodyguards up close. They're so cool! I want to be a royal. These guard two someday. men have the same animation. It's extremely synced up. They look exactly the same. The kids have the same animation. They're sp sp splitting images of each other. There it is. Am I supposed to laugh at this? I'm laughing at Ifrit just walking around. The tale of the fallen king, prisoner of fate. So does he know what his fate is? They made Ifrit hot? I know, they showed feet too. Don't tell Adrian. The year is M.E. 734. Spirits are high in the crown city of as all of insomnia prepares to... I can't fucking read this shit. Are you kidding me? Chapter 1. Darkness Awakens. My hard drive's too fast to read the, the loading text. Oh, that's the girl who narrated the introduction. I don't know who Era is. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <gasps> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> oh. <sighs> I look like fucking Jesus. Like a disciple. You look exhausted, my love. Are you alright? Aura mirrors <laughs> Florey. So that's also like... I am. Hmm. Uh, of Luna's bloodline. God's blessed me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. So, I must see their will be Is done. Arden like Jesus turned Your devotion shall not go on. Crazy unnoticed. like Jesus the wanted revenge against God basically. Over you. 
just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. Oh. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. 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 No, no, no. This is a oh, gay stream. Will you be with me always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heter no. That's good. That's five birth of buttholes. Oh my god, they have me chained up like in Jesus. Verstyle Bessithia? Texts told. Uh, who? Take him away. Did they resurrect me? Did they find me somewhere? That's Prompto's daddy! Oh my god, it does look like him! You see, this is what I was saying about Prompto never aging because that old old fat dude in episode Prompto was just like, oh no. Oh no. He has abs like Korean Jesus. Arden. This is the least smooth look around ever. Don't touch me. Can I even look down? I can only look horizontally. Oh, I can look up a little bit. Status report. Everything is fine here. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just... <sighs> Who the fuck is shooting me? My name is Adagium? Is this Angel Guard? Stop. Cease this. Cease this. At once! Once Arden enters overkill... Oh wait, let me read this again. Arden enters overkill when his HP falls to zero. While in this undying state, his attacks deal more damage, but his maximum HP falls time every two every time he takes a hit. If his max HP falls to zero, the game is over. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God almighty! Free at last! I have real arms. Hold to blitz. I don't know what blitz means. E? Did I just punch him? I got points for doing that. I'm not quoting MLK! The name of the... The mission is free at last. But I did say the rest of it. Press shift to dodge, hold to shadow step. 
Woo! What the fuck? So his attacks are very similar to Ignis, it feels like. The Korean Jesus look like sent you. <laughs> That's my commentary and what I'm here for. Observations. Land five successful strikes to form, perform a finisher and create an opening to demonify the enemy. Finisher, click five times. Wow. The clicking is not working. Because I just run past him. What the fuck? There, I, I hit him six times. Like, what do you expect me to fucking do? What? What? What does this... Why do I just run past? I don't want to. Did I demonify him when I pressed E? Harvest their life force. It's dashing automatically when I just click to attack. Strategy. E. Is Arden coming? Oh god. His? Who's Silas? Is that from League? Who's him? Incredible. His power is unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey. Eminent magic talk steals away to the Umber Isle of Angel Guard and absconds with Lucius' darkest secrets, Adagium. I can't even read it. Illusory truth. Illusory truth. Era. Why did she look so freaked out? Somnus. Forgive me, brother, but the throne seats only one. What the fuck? Uh, God, no! Dark side. They gave him a coat that looks a lot like... Ravis. Arden Azunia, Chief Bisithia would like to see you. <sighs> Why'd they give him all these books? Girl, I've worn like five different outfits already. He's in a research facility. I don't think he's a researcher. Chief Basithia's journal. Is this another journal? And then another journal. He lets me stay in his office? Like, what kind of creepy shit is that? <sighs> Nothing here to interest me. All these books, and not one of them do I want to read. He's gotta keep an eye on you while I'm asleep? Um, nah. Chief Pasithia's journal. I was but a boy when I saw my first demon. 
a wild canine run afoul of the Plasmodia. The fear that should have consumed me was itself engulfed by an intense excitement, much like the dark miasma that spreads across the land and blots out any trace of light or life. Some might deem me a madman, vilifying me for researching a wicked plague that brings naught but death. However, it, however, be it the magic technology of old or the demons of our day, understanding that which we fear is a vital step towards enlightenment. The plague that ravaged our star centuries ago died out for a time, and with it went all knowledge of the monsters it spawned. Yet since the discovery of a mutant strain of Plasmodia here on our very soil, that ominous word has re-entered our lexicon. Demon. What caused this scourge to resurge? I hypothesize that it began with the rise of our population that began in the latter half of this millennium. While the adoption of magic technology has vastly improved life for citizens across the empire, the territorial expansion it enabled may also re have reactivated plasmodia that remained dormant for many years. If so, then the true spread of the star scourge may have only just begun. Yeah, that's... I don't know. It shouldn't be a tongue twister, but it is. Also, my... My currency is yen? Might as well head out. Are you, you're okay with me just like leaving, dude? Maybe that's Gralia's money? Uh, it must be. He runs like. Uh, I dare say this outfit wasn't tailor made. Like the outfit that you wear in the main game is tailor made? It looks coffee filter looking ass bitch. Poppers, Not FDA warning. View. Kinda looks like a JPEG. I think it is a JPEG. Why he run like that? Because he's from 2000 years ago. That's why. Although I long dismissed it as some foolish fairy tale, the recent discovery of an ancient text tucked away in one of the kingdom's royal tombs has convinced me. Adagium is real. According to the tome, this inhuman entity born of darkness has lived in the shadows of Angel Guard for some two millennia. Perhaps the Lucians feared its supposed superhuman strength and potential for destruction. Yet to let such power go untapped would be incredibly wasteful. The military may have scoffed at us researchers for the lack of tangible progress on our magic tech infantry and demonic studies, but if we harvest this immortal monster and harness the secrets it holds, we may indeed laugh at last. It's weird how they give me all this key text and I have to go to the menu to read it. It's, it's really kind of dumb. In the main game, they would just throw it on me, like, here. Read this entire novel. Come, have a seat. I, ca I can't keep looking at... Prompto Senior, it bothers me. Why- they really are playing Adagio in, like, whatever G key it is in. Just because of Arden's name. Gods above, we thank you for the bounty you have laid before us. He's Don't really praying for his supper. Cold, do you? Dude, choke him. Are you enjoying your This is stay? a nice dining room in this research facility. He was like, I no. need to have perfect wallpaper, a nice table that looks like Jesus. Time. There are too Perhaps many Jesus-looking things dine. in this chapter. Was your examination of me 
the fruitful one. Oh yes, you've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force, it gives you more. Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. Oh my god, I want to slap <laughs> Bisithia right now. I can't wait to unravel all your mysteries. Arden just looks tired. He just wants to sleep. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. He's like, you in two millennia, all you guys have to offer me is this you. croissant? <sighs> what is this food? Meat, cloned in this facility. D cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we- Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. She's like, I already have enough to listen what to in my you own want head. from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Come along. You didn't eat anything, and I mean... I would avoid the cloned meat, but everything else, if it's fresh, I'll enjoy. He's not running like a weirdo anymore, mostly because they're forcing me to do this slow walk animation. This is the fruit of my labor. A small it, portion of it, that is. An ATM machine? Oh, he turned on the light from it. A uh, painting? I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on, have a look. Is that a world map? Oh my god. Uh. Dude, this dude's run animation is crazy. Acting on a tip received, we received from a friend in the private sector, we have sent an excavatory expedition to the top of the Rock of Ravito. Unlike the immovable Archean at the Disk of Cothus, the body of the Infernian should be unobstructed and ready for transport, assuming our team can reach the peak, that is. Legends say that the Infernian bestowed the gift of fire upon mankind in antiquity, and this burning wisdom helped forge the foundation of what became the civilization of Salheim. And now, with fabled flame within my grasp, I take my first step towards divinity. Tis a wondrous day indeed. This guy is the real villain, let's be honest. Chief Basithia is the reason why all this shit exists. I don't want to read that one all the way down here. It's not even in order. What the fuck? Give me the books in order, goddammit. Do watch your step, won't you? Eat my ass, will you? He just has his books scattered everywhere. A 
demons. Demons were first officially recognized I mean a fucking as a museum. species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected it's creatures begin to literally particles resident spirit, evil which is known as the star scourge. mixed with religion. Which I guess is Resident Evil 8. I <laughs> into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. Cool. There are some sounds in here that I don't like. Atagium. That is what the Lucians call the monster they imprisoned for 2,000 long years. His powers surpass those of any mortal, and his body is all but impervious to attack. It's no wonder the Founder King sealed him away on the Isle of Angel Guard. He undoubtedly feared this monster might challenge his reign. It seems fortune smiles upon me. Though the Lucians kept him locked away for 2,000 years, I've managed to secure Radagium for myself. The Did they have, like, no one guarding it? Like... Away, but the waves parted for me that day and led the way. While I've yet Don't they have, like, flying ships? Research, the potential he proved in combat was most promising. I estimate his powers easily surpass anything mankind has ever seen. Perhaps this streak of luck has just begun. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I pawed over the ancient He wants to walk down the stairs, but the, the NPC got in the way. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. Yeah, dude, I don't with know. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. The fuck is this? Demons aversion to light, they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls. Adagium, so they're just gonna is different. They're gonna clip like his demon brethren, through this. He can still function uninhibited in broad daylight. Of course, the ultra is this a light test? Him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. But he never burned like this. It stings. Oh, like the light of the sun, perhaps. Uh, I'd best cover up. Oh, is that why he put on all, like, the hat and all that shit? But it... it whenever the hat fell off, nothing really happened. Big weird. I can sleep on a couch. Take a break and save your game at sofas. In those shoes? Dude, they gave you the ugliest shoes to wear in the game. I finally get to see a world map. This is our world? Oh my god. This should have been in the main game. What the fuck? It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first alighted upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different lights. The birth of mankind. The remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistala region. Was that Gralia, that big meteor? Area, I don't remember. Canyon, there's a word for it. Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. According to legend, the fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. 
The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disky and Klang regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. Crater is the word I'm looking for. I'm very smart. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Klang and Disky is known as Telpar Crag. It was very cool. It is here that the War of the Astrals is set to have It has like place. some cool arches over this little canyon. To ash, the other gods fought back, and some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. The enormous crevasse separating the region. It is Oops. here that when Ifrit tried I somehow to... scrolled back up. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the War of the Astrals, was interred atop the Rock of Ravito. Which is why it's volcanic. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber. Yeah, it's like showing her tits Tumbled. down, ass up. I don't recognize this. Oh, wait, this. Uh, mm, mm, there's a bridge that goes here, and this is where Insomnia is. To this day, no one knows what became of the blade god, Bahamut. That's how it's pronounced. The Earth God Titan can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the disk of Kothis in the sky. Bahamut. As for the storm god Rama, legend has it he sealed himself away within Fosha Hollow. In Fosha? The sky. Here I am pronouncing it like it's an Italian piece of bread, focaccia. The sea gods Altisha. arrived and disappeared in the wake of the war. Some say she swam below the waves and slumbers beneath the city of Altisha. Some 2,000 years ago, the gods granted Somnus Lucis Chilum two gifts. The sacred stone and ring. With these in hand, he founded the kingdom of Lucis. In the centuries since, Lucis has managed to expand its territory while struggling to suppress a parasitic plague. As of ME722, Moore's Lucis Kylum sits the throne as the Moore's? 112th monarch of Is that King monarch. Regis? Because. Regis Lucis Kylum is King Moore's first okay. son and first in line to succeed his father. Moore's and Regis and Noctis. So Noctis is 114? Angelgard, off the coast of Golden Key, is an uninhabited island that Lucians regard as sacred ground. Ancient texts tell of a monster known as Adagium supposedly sealed away within, but investigations into its existence have yet to provide conclusive evidence. Soon after the establishment of the Kingdom of Lucis, House Fulleray founded the nation of Tenebrae. The Empire began its occupation of Tenebrae in ME359, a move that was initially met with much apprehension. In order to assuage the dissenters, the Empire preserved the Oracle's home of Fenestala Manor. This concession was partially made for political purposes. House Fleuray enjoys close ties with the line of Lucis. The Accordo Protectorate has developed into a bustling league of towns at the heart of maritime trade. In ME606, the Empire won an important battle against the Allied forces of Lucis and Accordo, and in turn, annexed the Protectorate. The country is steeped in traditions and cultures that are incompatible with Imperial rule, so the Empire has permitted it a measure of relative political autonomy. Hong Kong. Centuries after the founding of Lucis, a movement to revive the lost civilization of Solheim arose around the Weltham region. Weltham? That's a, that's a you, baby. Aldercat, whose brave deeds brought about the rise of the Niflheim Empire. The Empire built upon Solheim's magic technology and employed it for military use. This new firepower helped the Empire fell its foes, taking Tenebrae in ME359 and Accordo in ME606. As that ME is a long time. Under the direction of Emperor Aedilus Aldercat, the Empire is developing new arms fusing Magitech with demons. Wait, so you're telling me the fusing of Magitech and demons wasn't advanced by Arden? I don't like that. I, I liked the idea that Arden was pulling all the strings. Vestiges of the ancient Solheim civilization can still be seen in the ruins of Piteus and Steel of Grove. 
Several ancient structures also dot the forest of the Fall Grove that encircles Castle Mark Tower. Good thing I explored Excavation those areas. Of various sites is currently underway. In ME 501, during an expedition in the Ulwat region, the Imperial Army discovered a new species. Oh, that's why I could never get Olwat berries and I had to buy it from that dude with carrots. Because this is where Olwat is in these. in these snowy islands, and that's the berry that is used in that Tenebrae pastry that was featured in Brotherhood. Alright, that was a lot of information. Can I read the books now? No. I need one more book. Where is the book? At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the kings of Fjord. I've learned a great deal about the first king of Lucis, but I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a in which the chosen king dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all others? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. It sounds relative. Oh, wow. The light changes when I swap out. At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in years, originating with Ero Mirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. I mean, you guys run that area. I see the other book. It's glowing behind this panel. On the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the great war of old. Interesting. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? I mean, they did go and dig up Ifrit. By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. The line of Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the divine on their side, how could they fail? Well, they haven't failed yet. Or have they failed? This better be that missing book. I got a lot to read. Of all the gods above, least is known about the Draconian. Neither a tutelary deity nor a regular fixture in written records, the Blade Keeper has left behind nary a trace save for his name. Some legends suggest he selected a king to lead Lucius and bestow upon the Chosen One the fabled ring and crystal. In my opinion, it all sounds like the type of tall tale the royal family might concoct to justify their hold on power. But perhaps we can explore the matter in more depth by paying a visit to the Lucian's confidants in Tenebrae. I've made a discovery both startling and astounding. The monster known as Adagium is none other than Arden Lucius Kylum, older brother to the founder king of Lucius. How the fuck did he find this out? Words cannot describe the sense of elation that enveloped me knowing that I was able to converse with a creature who has lived for hundreds if not thousands of years. His powers do not cease to amaze. Not only can he absorb the demonic miasma into his body, but he can pass the plague onto others as well. He also claims to have gained a glimpse into their psyche when doing so, relieved their memories, so to speak. If this is true, then it would seem that this man has been blessed with both eternal life and unlimited wisdom. He's practically a god in his own right. The Lucian soldiers' reliance on their monarch's magic is nothing new, nor do I expect the armed forces to switch up their strategy in the near future. It thus stands to reason that we ought to devise a plan to inhibit their abilities by whatever means necessary. I've given much thought to the idea of suppressing the Lucian's magic, and while it'll be some time until we have a working prototype, I believe we should have a fully functioning jamming device added to our magic tech arsenal before long. Further combat data would certainly help speed along the development process, especially data related to the Divine. 
what a thrill it would be to take down a god using the form of one of their helpers. The team we dispatched to Teplark Crag has returned with a fascinating report. Their landing craft came under assault by a flying dragon as soon as they entered the valley. Hearing their story, I could not help but recall a passage I once read about the legendary Blade Master, which stated he guarded the, far the Founder King with his glaive in hand and dragon at his side. This would mean the creature they encountered has been guarding that gorge for nearly two millennia. And if one of these Lucian legends has proven true, then perhaps the kingdom's fairy tales are more than mere rumors after all. Even the whispers about the undying. Oh my god, Arden has a sword called the Roxa Blade. Okay. A sword that has stayed at Arden's side for roughly 2,000 years, flying forth at his command. One half of a pair, the Roxa Blade, was forged alongside the Blade of the Mystic beloved glaive of Arden's younger brother, Somnus Lucius Kylum. Both blades possess different properties, forming a devastatingly destructive arsenal when wielded together. While one can assume both swords were imbued with the hope that the brothers Kylum would rule in tandem, envy and ambition ultimately tore the two apart. Oh my god. There's a lot of lore. Conveniently placed to lore for me to read. Are we done with books? There's a book up there. I need to get the, the last book before I continue on. My reading practice. While few written records referencing the divine host of messengers remain, our excavatory expedition to Teplar Crag, Teplar Crag has uncovered some interesting information via word of mouth while investigating the surrounding area. Based on what we've heard, the demigods fought alongside the deities they served in the War of the Astrals, with the followers of the traitorous Infernian being all from a race from the Annals of history, after suffering defeat at the hands of the other gods. Little else is known about the messengers, but I'm determined to discover more about these fascinating creatures. Alright, what do you want with me, Basithia? And when do I get to start fucking around this with people? This must be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. I already looked. I don't want to look at the painting. There's something you should see. Come with me. Come with me to the I Emerald found something most City. interesting on the Rock of Ravito. It's if my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This Can't way. wait to see the Infernian. Why does this music sound very cyberpunk? Hi, open the door, bitch. Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated Oh my god, look at his cock. And brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him? Oh yeah, I could turn him. Demon? If no, you turn him to gay. If you a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. This way. 
The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. Do we really have to walk through the bowels of your lab? Them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Are you ready? Uh, uh, whatever. Lucians? But how? Is this how they steal one Call of their child? Adagium sighted. Requesting backup from Nimbus Squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Oh, that was easy. Oh my god, I just choked her. <laughs> Phantasm bar and conjure spectral arms to increase your attack power. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Just choke everybody. You're blaming me for the death of my girl? Oh, now we're getting some pizzicato ass looking like scary movie shit. Hold right click and press E when the bar is full to inflict royal retribution on your enemies. Bitch, where? How do I know if my bar is full? Is that it? I literally sent all my daggers in the world into this one child. I don't know, dude, but you're kind of dumb. Why is the, the thing still on? Did I not use it on the right person? Wub 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 wub. Blast. No, that's fire. Oh, that's a blast. Are we having a blast? The ring on the bottom left like armature. You mortals make mockery of a god. Such insolence. Oh, fun god music. So this is it. I mean, honestly, stop fighting. How am I supposed to choke out Ifrit? I'm just like attacking his- I'm like biting his ankles. I'm like a flea. 
Why, what is a man of House Kylum doing here? E. Oh, Invernian, grant me the power to take Somnus, his people, and his cursed kingdom, and burn them all to the ground! He's injecting Ifrit with the Star Scourge, and now he's getting all his memories? No. Oh, you dare to subjugate the divine? I was the, I one. Was the one chosen to be king. Oh, because he got the the god knowledge. My girl? Sorry, I have to talk to you in these ugly clothes again. They keep giving me ugly clothes. I defied the will of the gods and revealed to Somnus you had been chosen to be king. I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. Somnus fooled everyone so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. Now, this is straight up Adam and Eve shit now. Retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Oh, fuck. In the names of the gods above, fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sins. Punish. Kill me. That's right. Kill her. What the fuck? Put Is this crazy bullshit? Just like I oh my god, Thomas is fucking gaslighting me! I... I can't. My calling is to save lives. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, you must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> is this like... Come the final on. fantasy 15 version of Cruella? <laughs> Allow me. Somnus looks like a fucking Roman. All those swords look like the same swords. <sighs> I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. <laughs> Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread. 
alone. <laughs> they straight up turned him into the Joker. <laughs> Whose knife is that? It's very glittery. Is that a gay sword? The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitek infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began this to whole spread sequence the is probably bit the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. Betrayed by his brother and bereft with his beloved Arden is burdened with the blessing of eternal life. His feelings of enmity towards the line of Lucius grow greater as each passing day his darkness continues to consume his body and soul. Chapter 3 A Fiery Vengeance <laughs> Greetings, people of the Kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous reverie shall be your last. Arden just like dicking Good around. <laughs> False kings and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. Damn, Regis, stealing my here. facial hair. I am going to put a stop to this madman. Maybe I should steal his haircut too. Time to set to work. What is the music? Attention all units. Sorry, this is what is this music? Code red, I repeat, code red. Follow your commander's orders and get the situation under control. Everywhere is dead. Wonders of technology. Ifrit has so much HP. I, let me just watch Ifrit do all of it. Hey Ifrit, come here. Alright, fine. I'll join the fun. What is this rap? Have you identified the creature? Not yet, but we believe it to be demonic in nature. Suck. But how can it possibly withstand the daylight? For now, the vanguard will take care of the giant. Absolutely, sir. The crime squad is almost wiped out, sir. Target is still on the move. Special forces are on the way. Try to hold out until they. I'm really trying to get the backslash to get the blind side, so I can do the suck. But getting it to happen consistently is not easy. Hi, Kingsguard. Oh, Royal Guard. Engaging the target. He's so strong. Sending back. Don't let him get away. I let him suck. How can she suck? I didn't want to use it. Here I go! Used. And abused. Well, I guess I'll have to suck more. 
Hold that button and press something attack bar to make Ifrit perform attack. He will temporarily fight alongside, issue another command to summon him. Firaga? Eat that. Yeah, eat that. So now I have a summon. One of us. One of us. One of us. Where's that guy with the, the bow and arrow trying to kill me? Sir, we've identified the giant. It's the Infernian. If reach the Infernian. An Astral? Yes, sir. One of our officers seems to be controlling the Infernian, but we can't get an ID. What? Oh, it hurt me. That actually did hurt me. Oh, is this the dude with the the bow and arrow? I need to find him. I got an ID. What's going on? Why is Vasistia talking to me? As you wish, just sit back and enjoy the show. Now, where in the world might those dastardly little pieces be? Disable the wall amp to seize control of the surrounding area. Check the map to view the location. Be able to strengthen the world guard, strengthen around them. Disable them to weaken enemies and their defensive capabilities. Uh, okay. Well, let me take a nap first on a couch. All the devices they're using to amplify the wall. They seem to be positioned on rooftops around the city. Find them and destroy them. With pleasure. I'll be sure to keep you abreast of my problem. Abreast. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Press R to leap. But there's a, a bench. I mean, no. Bench. Yes, very Final Fantasy VII of you. <laughs> and he's drinking ebony and just reading a porno with like this jazz piano. Did you see the, the shop in the background was tiny department store? He really does just give zero fucks. <laughs> I mean, honestly, what is there to do? The lyrics to this song that I have to listen to right now, pretty stupid. He's immortal, scorned, has nothing to lose. And he, yeah, it's like... I don't know, dude. Can I fuck you? I just need to choke you? Thank you. This is going to hurt. Can't say you didn't try. <laughs> what is this horn? What's up, dude? Destroy the mana fonts to begin act deactivating the wall amp. I'm sorry, I'm too busy sucking. Yes, spin. Dude just cannot live. Oh, he fucked me up, bitch. That was totally disappointing. Yeah, 
Can you slap this? Thank you. There you go. Hi! I wanted to warp strike, not to just kill one dude. But you know what? I'll take it. Maybe his warp strike is his final maneuver thing. But I just want to... E? Is the counter interesting? They can, they can still scream in the afterlife. Turns out I was the enemy all along, Lucius. Oh, you got barrier, baby? I have the power of left click. Please get him in the backside so I can just choke him. There you go, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, get it. Yeah, you're dumb. Oh, who's this? A uh, king of yore? Defeat the newly activated guardian. Shadow step behind to blindside, successful blindside, so you can to modify them. Yeah, didn't I just... Aren't I doing that now? Can I suck the Guardian? Oh my god. can't see though. There, suck! Suck! Oh my god, look at it! Throw it! Oh! Oh! I guess I have to do this 20 more times. And, and oh my god, this has just turned into an Ubisoft game. I can buy clothes here if I wanted to? There's way too much going on. It doesn't seem to have had any effect just yet. Keep going for now. I can buy hats. Instead of ascension, it's dissension with AP? With the demonosphere? <laughs> what? Uh, royal arms I already have. Spectral charge to convert MP into spectral. Dark Tornado. Carburus Zero to summon a sniper rifle. Um, no. Demonification, Shadow Step, Phantom Fade. Demonification. Counter Osmosis, recover MP after parrying. Rising Phoenix. String together a 100 hit combo to wipe out all enemies. Mug. Power up. Power up. Power up. Power up. Power up. Faraga. Meteor Strike. Flames of Rage. So it sounds like I want the special moves for Ifrit first. And then I don't know what other row. I kind of want to do the Kerberos thing, but this increases the moveset, this row, and it's relatively cheap. Sir, one of the wall amplifiers has been destroyed. But why would he target them? Is this a nip attack? 
We haven't sighted any Imperial Nippelheim. soldiers inside or outside the wall, sir. Then they must have sent him to do their dirty work. Yep. Stop him at once. That's me, one spy. You're saying that this is gonna hurt to one of these little things? Well, at least they're all not the same in which I have to do the same fighting the dumb fucks. But it's interesting how the Guardians are the kings of yore. But is it gonna be like this music the whole time I'm here? I'm getting strong. Strong as the sex tricky vibes. Wow, we just took a lot inside. So what uses my MP? I haven't really felt like I've done anything that uses MP. I like the counter-attack stuff. That, that did kind of hurt, I guess. Meteor Strike. It's kind of a weak meteor. Kind of. Yo, Jimbo got buff? Are we talking about the Guardian or Ifrit? Suck him. Times of crisis, they call upon the guardian. The yeah, he does have the Yojimbo hat. If they summon you, perhaps I'll see that long lost brother of mine. Bavel, that's a throwback to and Final Fantasy X. Swimmingly. Wonderful. Here's hoping you can continue unimpeded. He's going after the wall amplifier, sir. He's dropping out another one. I'll station reinforcements around the amplifiers. Sir. Sorry, I need to buy a hat. Safety helmet. 7,500 yen. Can I see what it looks like? A top hat? Oh wait, this also changes my stats. Protection from injury increases defense vitality and elemental resistance reduces MP. I don't I don't really care. I just want to I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, give me the money. I I'll I'll buy more stuff eventually. I just want to put on the hat. Ifrit, can I put a hat on Ifrit? <laughs> so Ifrit's kind of like my party member. What? I have demon arts? Oh no, not the Yeehaw hat. Am I going to play X2 after this? I'm going to play Doom Eternal after this. And then X2. Loudspeakers? 
Perhaps I'll take the high road. What? What are the loudspeakers for? No, pick it up. Really? 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 What the fuck? Pick it up. Just end my life. As you explore, destroy decorations to boost your score. I, okay, that's what the loudspeakers are. I, you know, I don't really feel like going that far. You're saying that to this thing. It's another Yojimbo. Whatever. Countered. Suck. This is going to hurt. The king must be in his castle. Except I have to destroy his wall first. Yeah, take it. All the royal arms. <laughs> Who's this? What? I have to fight two at once? Girl, what the fuck, bitch? Finish them. Finish her. Finish her. She's down on her knees. Finish her. And finish the other bitch. Can't even see because I'm like on the edge of something. She dead? No. Now she's dead. I mean, they're giving me some variety at least, but it's. it's eh. I'm on the edge of glory, and I'm um, something on the new. Almost done. How does it look? Quite promising. We should be able to break through the barrier with a well-timed assault. You ought to evacuate lest you get caught in the crossfire. Yes, but there's something I must attend to first. Do I get to hang out with Regis? What? That wasn't part of the plan. I finished my work. Now it's time to play. You've but been playing with your food. You just stick to your plan and keep the boys in black busy for me. Now, off to see his majesty who lives in the house that Somnus built. What's the situation? Unfavorable. What's the sitch? The target has been destroying all the wall amplifiers. Who is he? 
It's me. Seems to have the inferni and under his control. I fear we must prepare for the worst, Your Majesty. Uh, but I found something that I can destroy, so I'm a bit sidetracked, Your Majesty. I mean, the only bonus in completing all of this, I guess, is to get more AP. Right? But apparently they only made two guardians. Eat it. So, doing that warp strike took all my MP. But even still, I didn't even use it that much. Uh, did I do it in time? I did. I did the E in time. I was not expecting the QTE. The Doom Eternal stuff I'm doing is... is going to be... The DLC. And I was waiting for the, the ray tracing update for it, which is why I didn't play it for a while. And then the DLC also went on sale. So I definitely took advantage of that. I didn't even need Ifrit. You know what? Let me just take down all of them. It's not that hard. I expected more from you. What? What? Another one? I didn't do the E in time. I'm dumb. I'm gonna die. I just needed to get rid of them, honestly. people around for me to like fuck around with man finally suck somebody off oh he goes ang angry mode I can't use him? 
I'm very confused in his in this state that he's in. But I think you can kill me. I love this. We'll use it again. Are we done? Really? This is boring. Get get a move on, will ya? There you go. How lucky you are to know the sweet release of death. I, maybe I don't want to keep fucking with these things. If they're there along the way, I'll do it, but otherwise, like... Okay, fine, I'll do it. That one in the back is just not going to happen. I only killed one thing, and here you are. I think I'm just getting a little irritated by the same sameness of all of this. The variety is not there that I would have expected from all of these. Oh yeah, can't see shit. Why am I still in this state? There's no enemy here. Why is the music still going? Two? Two of these fuckers? Or is it just one girl that got two separate animations? I, oh no, yeah, there were two of them. Stab. Stab. Come here, babe. Fuck him up. We gotta have fun here. Yep. There you go. Where's the other bitch? I have to put her out of her misery by putting pushing E? If it take care of her? Not R. E. You know how to press E. Good boy! Can you take out the last tank, will ya? Why am I stuck? I gain HP by using this move? I mean, it's pretty sick. Flames of Rage, I need to see it. What does it look like? I can't even see the attack. He took me to another realm, like what are we doing? Oh, oh, yes! That's stinky! Stinky! Synth! From the 90s! Oh, 
doing that move puts me in stasis. Okay. Thank you for the potion. I'd like to rest. No, I'd like to rest. You guys are fucking me. You guys are fucking with me, I swear. I hate this. Come on, Grapes of Wrath. No, no Grapes of Wrath. That's not nice. I can't use Ifrit? Why are they doing this to me? Where, who's the fucker aiming at me? You! You need to die! Thanks for following... G. Whatever, I just go into berserk mode, like, does it matter? Yep, that's it. I just wanted to rest! Ifrit, please! I'm tired, and then they gave me my HP back? This is illegal. Would this have been easier had I gotten rid of more of those little antenna bitches? Arden is the goat. And it's. Um, Ifrit, Ifrit is better, but Ifrit doesn't want to play with me. I swear this this part is just forcing me to be in this angry mode. But it didn't give me the opportunity to go into the suck. Please, I just wanted to sit on a bench. You've got to be kidding! Arden's a goat. Arden turned out to be Jesus, who got gaslit by his younger brother. Thank you. Who else wants to get sucked off? Oh, yes. Who's next? Ow. Dude got electric. Ow. Oh, no. How many times have I gone into this overkill mode? Three times thus far? Can you guys go home? Dude, chill. Is Ifrit broken? Bitch, bitch! Behold! Take it. Yeah. You like that? Oh, 
Am I clear to sit on the fucking bench? I have some Hold up. What? <laughs> Who thought this would be so much fun? No, no stasis. I do that. Is there lightning over the city? All right, where's my bench? The game is rude. All I wanted to do was rest. See? I need to go through and flip through my little porno. Let's go say hi to my great, 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 great grandnephew. Oh my, what big walls you have. All the better to look down upon his enslaved subjects from. <laughs> Time to call in a favor with the king and have him summon my beloved brother. Dude is not in the throne room. Something wrong, officer. Oh, you must be his majesty. On the other side, I'm it's going to be Arden. Your acquaintance. Yep. Why are you here? Why for you? The royal arms. Who are you? I'm your great great you great 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 grand uncle. Adagium. In the flesh. Here to bring the bloodline of Lucis to an end. <laughs> Try this. Give me a dash on my honor. Well, no, no, no. I will Why did you move to the front what side? To say to your own Ow. I want this music. Ooh. I'm barely doing any damage to dad or nephew or whatever you want to call him. I pressed a different button when I had the option to counter. I barely touched him at all. And my hat's gone. Die. Such power. Nothing not. I'm afraid that train seems to skip a generation or two. This monster must be contained. It's too dangerous. He must be stopped. Must I? Really? By whom, may I ask? They're having I this entire conversation. It was entirely intentional. Look, he has his own gravitational field! Say your prayers! Where's your head? I'm having trouble keeping up. Anyways, I have a friend. Try this! You're mine! Over here! He doesn't like being link striked? No bitch. One sword versus twelve. And an Ifrit in the background. Just like dicking around. Dude, anytime there's double bass pedal, I live. Oh my god. I just Star Scourge punched him. A uh, barrier? Yo, this trumpet dude in the background is going fucking off. It's over. Uh, that didn't do that much damage to his barrier. Ow, 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 ow! No, 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 no! What? I didn't do anything.
<laughs> You've met your match, King Regis. Is this when he puts on the ring, or is the ring already on his finger? But the fun's just begun. Some New wall? The old. old wall. Crystal. How do you know about that? I mean, Hello. Regis I has had some plastic surgery because his cheeks are filled. Of course, that's only hearsay. Are you Why straddling your nephew? So we can see for ourselves. What I wouldn't give for a chance to speak with the founder king himself. Come out, Somnus. The longer you wait, the longer he'll suffer. Oh, he has the ring on. Huh? Is he playing dead? Is he dead? <laughs> oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. <laughs> Brother! Well, I'm waiting. Brother. <laughs> Softness. <sighs> I haven't seen you for years. Two thousand, in fact. And whose fault do you think that is? Who could have exiled me as a monster and erased the promise of history? You were tainted. Unfit to sit the throne. Tainted. Please, Please run into the darkness once you can. Tainted. Now? But I'm having so much fun! To think I get the pleasure of killing you myself! Oh, this uses a lot of MP. This is no beginning. Only the end. Match. I don't really know. I'm just kind of running around. Stasis. That's not good. Too afraid to put down your expensive toy and come face me yourself. How could one so impure such power? Um, I don't know. Oh, they redid the Somnus music. Where's your head? I was right to have sealed you away. You truly are a monster, brother. <laughs> Bro, why are you running so far away? Hi, I'm over here. You're no match. Oh. Ow, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Teleport me, please. No escape. Over here. <laughs> Great timing. This ends now. If Jesus had a brother, that would have been so messy. Maybe Jesus did, like a half-brother. I'm just floating in here, spinning my swords, you know, like, no problem. Some good rhythm. Oh, do you... Oh, he doesn't get to play? Yoing. Go. Yeah. The gods blessed you as their chosen. The people adored you as their savior. This whole segment is just dialogue. Just envious, perhaps. 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 Oops. Oopsie whoopsie! I made a poopsie! Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm into that. I'm into that. Until you 
stole it from me. You ripped it I was going to say arms. I'm into that triplet meter. Is it, which wall is he summoning now? Um, scripted. Not scripted? Can't tell. I'm really not. I don't know what I'm doing. Come come to Arden. Look, that was me waiting out his attacks to get the the meter to fill up. So twelve percent. My first received my glory, and I understood. But the demons could not be allowed to live in this world. The sinner could not be allowed to sit the throne. Why am I a sinner? Fairy tales and fallacies. Peg him right in the ass. The music changed significantly. It was like big course like and then it turned into whatever we got here. Just a chill, a hundred thousand damage. Hello, brother. <laughs> that musical cadence to get to that leading tone. So then I could click the button. Good. What I did to you was unforgivable. But I did it for the future of our kingdom. Stop gaslighting me, people. bro. A small sacrifice for the good of society. <clears throat> How noble. Our line has done everything in our power to protect our people. Just as the gods bade. I was merely fulfilling my calling. <laughs> And here I thought I was the blessed one, but it was you all along. I dare not ask your forgiveness. But I do ask your understanding. What? The game froze? You took everything from me. Everything. That was weird. And you ask my understanding? I pray your soul find repose, brother. It won't. Oh, that's just the confetti on the ground. I thought it was supposed to be moving. Is nobody watching after the king? The crystal. Hi, crystal. I think we need more swords. Yeah. 
Do I have to fight Muhammad now? What is this? Why? Why do the gods deny me my revenge? Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <sighs> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? So now you're like a, like a Judas figure, or... I don't know. No, he's not a Judas character. He's still just a Jesus character. He's the real Jesus character. Sacrificial lamb is very much a that I live biblical only to symbol. Die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon The gods me. are just fucking playing with their food. That's why he becomes like a puppet I am master. To serve the shadows and surrender to the scion of a usurper. So long as it brings the royal bloodline to an end. So long as I get my revenge. Did Noctis just like not have sex with anyone? I will submit. As thou shouldst, the fate bestowed upon a man. Did you see Noctis have a girlfriend? Luna? But he's of the age in which his hormones are telling him Did you to, to go fuck women that or fuck men, whichever. As some sacrifice. You too. Was he speaking to Somnus and to the lady, Era? Era! Because Era does speak with the gods. What about you, dear brother? Did you know? Answer me! But. What? Are the gods Square Enix? Like, why, why did that show up? Uh, do, do, are they introducing a movie now? <sighs> Am I alive? Oh, does it matter? <laughs> Perhaps not. Imagine if the rest of the credits just <sighs> listening to this water dripping in this dungeon and Arden is just like not the blessed here. gods above, nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all. But did Arden actually try to kill kill Noctis? I don't know. Oh. 
all that matters is I have my revenge. Don't tell me she was fucking sleeping with the my earth, brother. Lure out this king of light and kill him. Then the entire world of Eos will be drenched in the darkness of despair for time eternal. Does he just... It's, and that's the knife that kills her, and now you're just playing with the glittery gay knife? Whatever. And here lies the puppet. Puppeteering. And what was the significance of this coin that he flipped to them? I don't remember that having an, a, anything to do with the rest of the game. Here's a coin. Let's go on a road trip. Awaken the Titan. Get your power and shit. I did it all, congratulations to me getting through this long hard slog of the DLC. The DLC you want is where we're, we're killing Bahamut. Is that the same knife that stabbed the other girl? Or that knife has been through so many millennia. It's been inside so many people. It felt weird to me that Arden was awakened instead of Arden just like dicking around with every civilization for 2,000 years. In my fantasy, Arden was just fucking around with the whole world until he got to this chosen king person. It's so weird though that Bahamut is just sitting and chilling in the crystal, just like doing nothing. You really liked Arden's story? To some extent, but the whole Jesus part, I was just like, all right. It's like the extended Jesus version. Very tragic. It's like he gets to be Jesus without any of the religion afterwards. He was manipulated from the start and that his, ev that, that his evil was created by Bahamut. But like who created the Star Scourge in the beginning? I mean, this is Arden being like, all right, I have my fate to face too. Even though it says that he submits to his fate, he later on goes on to say that he's going to try to prevent that from happening. 
Star Scourge is very Final Fantasy VII, it fell to the planet in the meteor, the disk of Kothis. Meh. The music in this episode, so many different styles. So many different styles. It was kind of a little distracting. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. That's actually literal. What do you mean to be continued and then chapter 14 of Final Fantasy 15? I already did it. That's a weird thing to do. I mean, he is like a the king. Don't grade my shit. Acquired Arden's Assemble for Noctis. Acquired the Mutant Rakshaw -sh Blade. New hat shop. Kingly Clash. Do I get to fight every king? After centuries of suffering, Arden prepares to finally free himself from... Okay, Jesus, Arden. Next to your backstabbing lover. And that's it for Final Fantasy 15. That is 18 streams of Final Fantasy 18. Oh my god, 15. I get to do a shotgun. It's added subtitle and content in chapter 14. Wait, they add more stuff to the main game from this DLC. I'll just look it up on YouTube or read about it. I'm not gonna go and see what the new cutscenes are. I've already spent 60 hours in this game. I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready for a genre change. Here's a shotgun, but you may perform it maybe on the next ring. You have to start boost. No, I'm doing it now. I bought alcohol today just so I could make sure that if that does happen, I have something to drink. So I'll quickly be right back. So unfortunately for me, the only beers they had available at the supermarket were PBRs, and PBRs are notoriously disgusting. So, cheers to this game and to its crazy little way of storytelling. As disjointed as it was, I still loved the interaction between all the brothers, those bros, it made me feel like I was back in college volleyball playing with my bros. So, here's to Iggy, Gladdy, Prompto, and I guess Noctis. Excuse me. All right, so the plan for tomorrow's stream is Doom Eternal DLCs parts one and two. And that'll be the game that I'll be playing for the next couple of streams. And then after that, it's Final Fantasy X2, X2, whichever, however it's pronounced. <coughs> Man, I don't know after that. 
Maybe it's going to be the... The Summer of Sequels? <laughs> because Doom Eternal DLC is a sequel. And X2 is like a sequel. They're both DLCs. I just finished up four DLCs. In any case, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed Final Fantasy XV. And what a goodbye to this pretty up, up and down, mostly ups adventure in Eos. And I think what we've learned is fuck the gods. They really don't care about what happens to the humans. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I stream at 5.30 Eastern, and if you want to see a cute picture of me at the gym, check out my Twitter. Don't you dare run to Pityas, but I dare you to watch it on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not going to do Pityas. I've read about it, and I'm like, you know what? It's not for me, and I don't need a flying version of the regalia. <laughs> Bye.